Hey, Burger Tea Society. I am back with your short game coach for the index experiment, Mr. Parker McLaughlin, AKA Short Game Chef. And this is a very exciting day, a rare picture of the chef without a wedge in his hand. <laughs> uh, we are going to talk some putting today, my friends. There are people in the Discord channel that need some help. This is arguably the most important part of the game. Um, and as I understand it, um, you know, everyone has their own way of getting the ball in the hole, but there are some things you want to talk about as far as uh, what you call non-negotiables. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, not to toot my own horn, but I was a pretty good putter in my day. Um, and so not only the wedge stuff, but, but putting, um, you know, potentially you're putting 30 to 40 times per round. Hopefully not. Hopefully but, closer to 30. Yeah. yeah. Um, 28 would be nice. But I think that if we can break, break it down and make it, make it really simple in setup, right? We, the non-negotiables. So something that's obviously, that can go any different way mm -hmm. would be grip. You can put it any way you want. Left hand low, claw, right hand low, up the arm, anything works, sure. right? So that, that's obviously um, not one of my non-negotiables. Okay. So let's start with setup, eye, eye placement. You will never see a tour player set up and be, have his eyes well over the golf ball. So if I were to drop a ball, you would never see my eyes well over the golf ball. So what we wanna see and what, what every great player does is they have their eye line either on the ball or just slightly inside the ball. So a good way to do it is drop a ball from where your eyes are and see where it lands. And so like the, the common thinking is that this is about sort of picking out your target line and start line, right? Having your eyes over the ball, but it affects the stroke? It actually affects the stroke. Okay. So if you were to just do a, do a quick little drill where you said, all right, I'm gonna get way over it mm -hmm. like this. Where is that putter gonna go? Out, follow your eye line. It just, it just follows right where gravity sort of wants to take it. Now, if you go the opposite way, and I set up like this, where's that thing gonna go? Inside. It's just gonna come all the way back inside just because that's where it just sort of wants to get closer to gravity. So for me, if you put your eye line in the, in the proper spot, it, it presets you to, to get that nice, slightly arced stroke in the backstroke. Okay. So second non-negotiable, is gonna be the placement of the golf ball. So ball positioning. Ball position is gonna go, have to go slightly forward to center. You will never see a great putter putting from back here. Maybe back in the olden days, but not any of the current, in the last 20 to, to 30 years, you won't find any of the best players putting from a ball position back here. We wanna be able to hit that ball on the slight upswing. So we gotta get that ball slightly forward of center that's an absolute non-negotiable. Okay. Third one is going to be the plane in which the shaft and my and my forearm is going to be. Your lead forearm. So yeah, it, it depends, right? If, if you're if you're left hand low, it it it's just one of your forearms needs to be in plane with with that shaft. Okay. That's going to give you the best chance for success. Uh, you'll see you'll see a handful, a small handful of players like Tony Finau. Hideki Matsuyama that lower their hands a bit. But ideally what we'd wanna see is for this lead wrist to go into ulnar deviation and now all of a sudden this plane looks identical. It's, it's on the one and the same plane. So those are, those are my three non-negotiables when we just wanna like really boil it down and simplify putting. So those are the uh, sort of three easy ways to check yourself. Talk to me about sort of consistency of setup. This is one question that I find comes up a lot you know as people are trying to find something mid-round if you have the three non-negotiable set is it ever okay to experiment with um you know the width of your stance with uh tempo with grip pressure all these things or are you more on the side of hey let's find something out here on the practice screen and let's commit to it and let's really work on it yeah, I mean, I think there's always adjustments to be made because there's going to be times when you're going to go out to the course and you're not going to really feel the putter head mm -hmm. in your hands. Uh, ben Crenshaw once told me that he he really liked to feel soft in his hands so that he really felt like the putter head was really heavy. Mm. So weirdly enough, he had a very light putter. I have a very light putter. And when I put my best, I feel like this putter head weighs a lot. So, but I do that through you know, softening my hands and really making sure that like I can find that. But there's nothing ever wrong with feeling softness in your grip pressure. Okay. You're never gonna go wrong. 
You'll never see anybody making strokes that look like this because they've got too light a grip pressure. You'll see a lot of people making strokes because their, their grip pressure is too tight. Mm -hmm. But you'll never see anybody making a stroke that where their grip pressure looks too loose. Interesting. Yeah. Now, all right, so last thing on putting for you, um, there seems to be some deviation between good players. We were talking about it earlier as far as long backstroke to short follow through, which seems to be kind of the trend right now on mm -hmm. tour, or you have sort of short to long. Where do you fall on that spectrum? And also, uh, what are some ways that we can find our rhythm, our tempo, you know, our, you know, beats per minute on the metronome, whatever it may be? Yeah, so there's great putters at, uh, at both ends of those spectrums. So the guys that go long to short, Cantlay, Xander Schauffele are, are two that come to mind. The guys that kind of go short to long, you know, Aaron Baddeley, who's always been a great putter, uh, Ryan Moore, who's always been a great putter, those guys go more short to long. There's no real right answer in this. Mm. It, it's You need to sort of experiment and find out where, where it is that you sort of feel you're most comfortable and you're most confident. For me, I don't, I don't necessarily love going like super long and then short. I feel like it's a lot of like, well, I gotta decelerate the, just the proper amount. I feel a little bit better going where I feel like it's like I, I can go and I'm always sort of accelerating to the hole. But for me, that's just how I putt. Right. But it's not, it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. So I think it's like really find your own. And Tiger's probably in the, somewhere in the middle where he's a little bit more like equidistant back, equidistant through. Maybe he, he's a little bit on the shorter side, but he's fairly equal on both sides. Yeah. So the message I'm getting is find what works for you outside of the three things that you mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Right? Eyes over the ball, ball just forward of center, and uh, make sure that this shaft sort of matches up with the plane of one of the forearms. Yeah, if you can do those three things, then it, you know, it's like length of putter can vary. It, you know, grip can vary. There's a lot of things that can be variables. Putting is a very personal experience. You want to have a nice relationship. I mean, I, I, I had times where I would like, if this guy wasn't acting right, come in bed, let's sleep it off together. Oh, you did that too? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad I'm not the only, <laughs> only one. I was like, you know, and then sometimes you're like, all right, yeah. you're going in the closet for a little yeah. while, you know, take a little break. I woke up with a saber tooth mark on my face the other day. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. But yeah, it's a very personal experience and, and you know, this club, you know, can can really make or break a, a round of golf. And I know you know that from your play this summer. It's like, you want you want this guy to be performing yeah. in the way where it's, you feeling like you step over it and you're like, I can make this 10 footer. Yeah, it makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, it makes playing golf a whole lot more fun. So uh, thank you for the non-negotiables. This has been getting personal with your putter with uh, the short game show. <laughs>